I read an article on the Forbes website by one of our contributors, and it talked about the world's largest super yacht, which was under construction, that was supposedly going to help save the oceans. So I did a little bit of digging, and it turned out, ironically, that the person who was funding the yacht was this oil billionaire who had made his money in offshore drilling and trawling and fishing, sort of extracting from the oceans. And I thought that was interesting. So I reached out to Roque and I asked if he'd be willing to meet. And ultimately, I met him on the western coast of Norway to hear more about the project and about his company. The ship, which is called Rev, is going to be 600 feet long at a cost of at least $300 million, probably a lot more than that. And really, it'll have two functions. One is scientists can come on board for free and use a lot of the scientific equipment that's available to try to do studies and track fish stocks and plastics that are floating in the water and water acidity levels, that kind of work. And on the other hand, because the ship has a lot of luxury amenities, Roque plans to charter it out and use those proceeds for environmental causes. Rev Ocean is, the initiative is based upon, I want to be a part of recycling my money in a way that I believe in, mm -hmm. to be a part of the solution. The vessel is owned by a company, 100% controlled by myself, mm -hmm. charter out for a dollar a year to the, to the foundation. And the only thing that I will get back is the loss that I have during construction. What's interesting about Roque is that in many ways he's a contradiction. A lot of the ways he made his money is through extraction and pollution, offshore drilling, fishing, trawling things that have gotten him into trouble with environmentalists. Now, he would contest that, but what he wouldn't contest is the fact that he's working hard now to try to clean up some of those problems and bring scientists on board his ship to try to create solutions to clean up the waters. The obvious criticism of Roque is that he's continuing to work in these industries that are highly polluted. And as he admits himself, this one ship isn't gonna solve the problem. What he argues, though, is that it can be a beacon for a solution and try to bring people together to tackle these problems. Since I'm in the oil and gas industry and a consumer of uh, refined products of various grades, mm -hmm. I'm part of the problem. So I believe that all of us that directly and indirectly is using fossil fuel in one shape or another is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Until we have behavioral change, the problem will not solve itself. Roque is a very classic rags to riches story. He grew up in a modest home in Norway. His dad was a cabinet maker, his mom was an accountant, and he had really severe dyslexia and ended up dropping out of school after the ninth grade. After a couple years of working, he landed in Alaska, worked his way up on boats, saved enough money to buy his own boat, which then burned, he bought another boat and it crashed. And eventually he amassed uh, a seafood portfolio, which led him into oil and offshore drilling and, and other industries as well. I've been more privileged than most people can be. I mean, I, I've been able to do what I like to do, mm -hmm. and I've been able to make a living. I haven't invested in any infrastructure. I haven't built a road. I haven't educated people. Basically, I'm a harvester. All this privilege has come to me as an individual that I recognized fairly early on. So I made up my mind if I there's money left to give away, I will give the lion's share of it back.